Hi, my name is Alex Walford and I wanted to show you a quick example of how you can build pipelines fairly quickly and I based this on something pretty trivial. I was watching Silicon Valley the other day and um, Guilfoyle set up this obnoxious alert. It plays death metal, uh, the shortest song ever, 1.36 seconds of uh, You Suffer, whenever uh, the Bitcoin price crosses some threshold. And uh, I noticed someone else uh, wrote a version of this in JavaScript and I thought it would be, and it, and it took three hours apparently, and I thought it would be a good idea to show how quickly you can build something like this using Streamsets Data Collector. Um, so, uh, let's see. This is the ingestion pipeline uh, for uh, the Bitcoin prices. So if we were to have a look at the uh, configuration, I have an HTTP uh, client here and I'm just hitting this blockchain.info endpoint and I'm getting it every 20 seconds. Um, um, and I'm flattening it out. So let's go into the snapshot mode and uh, we can see the the records changing as they go through. So um, the initial payload has lots of currencies um, and so, and these are nested. You can see that USD and then it has, you know, USD 15 minute last, so on and so on. Uh, so I only want USD, so I'm going to filter those out. I want to rename the field. I'm, I'm going to call that price um, because I think in USD and I'm not, I don't care about other prices. I'm going to add a timestamp and um, the, the uh, coin ticker symbol and then I'm going to write that to Kafka. So this is what's happening here. We have uh, this pipeline running. Now we have a pipeline for the alert itself. So we're going to pick up these um, Bitcoin prices. Let's do the same thing with the uh, snapshot preview so you can see the, the data coming through. And uh, so here's an example. We've picked the price up from uh, Kafka. It's much simpler now. Now this pattern here um, is using Redis um, to uh, look up the previous value. And, and this, is used, this is important for um, anything where you want to compare um, one record to the previous record. So in this case, um, let's uh, let's have a look, and I, and I can see we have the previous value, uh, and it comes back as a string, uh, 9375.78 previously, and it's 9362.46 now. And so we're going to flatten these out. You'll notice that this is a nested um, object here. So we're going to flatten these out, and um, we're going to change the um, data type um, to a double. So now these things can be uh, compared. Um, so in order to keep the previous uh, record state. Um, whenever we grab a record, we overwrite the previous value in the Redis cache, and that's what's happening here. Um, so um, we are going to create an alert status. And so, what this is going to do, if the price um, um, moves through some threshold, um, it's going to trigger an alert. So in this case, I created a Boolean um, object called uh, alerts here, and um, I'm going to either throw the record away if there's no alert, or if there is an alert, I'm going to play that um, obnoxious heavy metal song. Um, and uh, this is going to play, and, and the, the way I'm doing this, I'm using um, Sonos. Uh, so so I, have, I have a Sonos, and I'm just going to be doing an HTTP GET to my kitchen uh, to, to play this. Okay, all right, so um, let's um, fake a record. So this is, this is handy for testing. I have a fake record here where I'm going to tell it the Bitcoin price is now four thousand dollars and so let's see what happens when I when I run this yeah so there's that obnoxious song uh, and, and uh, I think it's gonna pick up a new record in a moment and, and reset it back to nine thousand and something and it's gonna cross that threshold uh, that threshold incidentally is is a parameter of the pipeline uh, let's go back to configuration configuration here and uh, you can see that we have this mining threshold of uh, $9,000. Um, so any time it crosses that, it's going to play that obnoxious song. Um, I wanted to touch 
briefly on how you can manage pipelines like this. So um, we're going to go over to uh, Control Hub now and we're going to build a topology. So we have two pipelines running um, and these two pipelines are really this one process. So I'm going to create a new um, topology. So I'm going to uh, create topology. I'm going to call it uh, Gilfoil because um, that's the name of the uh, the character from Silicon Valley and we're going to add two um, jobs to this so the first job is going to be get the Bitcoin prices and then the second job is going to be uh, create that uh, alert so I'm going to join these two um, jobs together and this is going to allow us to um, visualize this whole um, process so it's handing off um, to a Kafka topic and picking up from a Kafka topic and this is uh, and we, we can uh, monitor the, the throughput and so um, we've started to monitor this and we can see it played you suffer twice here you can see two records have gone there you know 79 have gone to trash uh, we had 81 come in and uh, this is uh, this provides us some visibility into uh, what's going on. All right, I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.